hop on out for me. Come talk to me. I'll take that. I'll take your driver's license, just so I know who you are. Thanks. Hop on out. Awesome. Put your hands right up here. So right now you're under arrest. All right. Two Charlie 33, code 20. So, why in the name of God's green earth are you driving that fast? Turn around, turn around, turn around, right. Just lean right there. Do uh, right you have any idea what your top speed was? Uh, 120. 120, I think I locked you in at 121 or 122. You know what the speed limit on this road is? Uh, I believe it's 55. It's 50. So why are you driving more than double the speed limit on a 50 mile an hour road? I was just trying to I know, I know it's not a perfect excuse for driving that high. Well, there is no excuse. So saying that it's perfect, no, that no, it's no, not no. a perfect excuse, would mean no, that no, no, there no. is a perfect excuse, no, no. and there isn't one. No, no, no. Tom 16, I have one in custody. I apologize. Tom 16, 16, 05. Tom 20, 20, Okay. Uh, no, you actually look exactly the way you do in your picture, too. Okay. Time 16, we have a posse units available in Charlie. Okay. So you're just totally okay with 120 something miles an hour in a 50. You're just like, that's a good idea. Oh, no. I just, Tom 16, that's negative. I just trying to get home quick. That's it. You're just trying to get home. Okay. You, you need to go to jail. That's what you need to do. Uh, so, yeah. all right. what I want you to do is stand up here. Just lean right back there. Perfect. Is there someone that I have to notify to come get my vehicle? Or? Oh, no, I'm going to tow it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I am shocked at how totally okay you are with not only the criminal offense of excessive speed, but also reckless driving for passing all those cars. You're going through a neighborhood here. I mean, someone we're in, we're in someone's backyard right now. Like, there's people walk and ride their bikes and horses through here, and you're just like, oh, 120 something, that's totally fine. I, I just, I, I, how old are you? You have to be in the, of course. Your generation, I'm telling you, I don't, I, I just, just stand there. You see me make traffic stops. I've said, hey, you're under arrest. You're not free to go. Um, same thing today, but at 70 miles an hour above the posted speed limit, um, where that speed becomes reckless and showing no remorse and, and no regret for doing that that violation that endangers everyone on the road. Um, that's why I made that decision to take that guy into custody and to book him into jail. So you're gonna come with me today? Anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? No, anything on you you're not supposed to have? Anything on you that you wanna keep in the car? Um, like I'm presuming you want your phone and wallet. It may just be his age um, that he didn't understand that there's consequences for committing criminal offenses. But that reckless behavior where you're endangering so many people and making me drive at that speed to catch him, to take him into custody, um, those are all the things that go into that decision. Um, so that's why he's on his way to jail. His car is on the way to car jail. It's gonna be a little bit of a, kind of a steep climb because we're on the angle, but I'll help you up. Left leg first, then I'll just kind of lean on me and one, two, three, there we go. Don't get the AC going so you get a little bit of airflow, okay? These are all roads that lead to people's neighborhoods. Um, people expect cars on this road to be traveling at 50 miles an hour. So at 70 miles an hour over the speed limit, um, if someone were to have seen him coming and expected that a car was going 50 miles an hour, they're gonna pull out in front of him and cause a collision.